The official FIFA 22 release is here. Over the past couple of weeks, you've been able to play FIFA with the release on EA Play and Ultimate Edition. But today is the official release of the game. And I know today, a lot of you will be loading up for the first time and going into Ultimate Team. To help you out, I've put together a list of the most common mistakes players make when starting foot. Before I do get into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Every single week, I'm uploading the latest news and latest tutorials so that you get the most out of Ultimate Team. If you would like to take it a step further, there is a link in the description down below, which will take you over to my second YouTube channel. Over there, I'm streaming three days per week, playing the latest games. So if you do want to see that, link can be found in the description down below. I have already pushed beginner guides to this channel when starting FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. They were released with EA Play and released with the Ultimate Edition. Today, we're looking at the most common mistakes new players make. By highlighting these mistakes, you can easily avoid them and have a much better start to the game. The first big mistake that I see new players making all the time is playing matches with a starter team. Even right at the beginning of a new game, you will come up to full goal teams. It's just going to happen. Back in the day, you could use your initial team and you would most likely come up to another starter team right at the beginning. But with the amount of tutorials online, the accessibility of foot before release with EA Play, the web app, and the ultimate edition which gives you early access, everyone can have a full goal team on day one. You really do not want to use your basic starter team with only three gold players and about 70 chem coming up to a full goal team with 100 chem. You're just putting yourself at a massive disadvantage even before the whistle is first blown. Now this does not mean that you're guaranteed to lose your games when coming up to these types of teams. If you are way better than your opponents, you can win the game. They just put you in a bad position right at the start. My recommendation, when you first start up for to go for the introduction, claim your starter team, which will include three gold players, but don't use that team for online games. Instead, just go into squad battles. Squad battles is against the AI where you can select your own difficulty. The coin reward that you'll get at the end of the match is the exact same. The only difference is your weekly rewards. But the coins that you get from your squad battle matches can then be used for you to gradually build up to your first goal team. And once you do finally have a full goal team, it doesn't need to be the best. You can have a variety of common golds and cheap rare golds. But as long as it's 100 chem and full gold, that's when you can move into division rivals. And that's where you're going to be put in a much better position. If you're very lucky, maybe you'll come up to opponents which doesn't follow this rule and you're coming up to their starter team. And hopefully that's going to be a very easy win for you. The next mistake that players use is immediately use the coins that they get from any games that they play to improve their team. Most players finish their first match, retrieve their 400 to 900 coins and immediately put those coins into players which improves their team. This is a mistake. Yes, the goal for Ultimate Team is to build your Ultimate Team, but there's a better way to do things. You've managed to get some coins into your account after your first match and you're immediately putting those coins into a player. That player has not increased your earning potential. That player may improve your team, allowing you to score more goals or defend slightly better or create more chances. But at the end of that match, you're still going to be earning 400 to 900 coins. And if you were to continuously do this with everything that you manage to earn from these matches to go straight into players, if you were to get a full goal team, it's going to take you 11 matches. And that's only if you're going to be aiming for the slightly cheaper common gold or rare gold players. If you're looking for someone of value, it's going to take a lot longer. The best thing for you to do is to play your first match. Get those 400 to 900 coins into your account. And instead of using those to buy players for your team, buy players to make trades. I always recommend training at this stage because by doing it, you increase your earning potential every hour. There's already a few basic trading methods on this channel that everyone can use no matter if you've been playing foot for the last couple of years or you're a completely new player. It takes no time and it takes no skill. With only 400 to 900 coins, you can't get a crazy amount of trades, but you can use the bronze trader method that I have shown on this channel and you can easily get two to four players that will give you a decent amount of profit once they sell. 
Once you use those coins to buy some trades and list them on the transfer list, that's when you can go into another match with the exact same starter team going into squad battles. At the end of that match, which will take around 20 minutes, you will still only get 400 to 900 coins from the match itself. But hopefully within that time, you've also managed to sell some of the players that you listed on your transfer list. Now you're earning coins from the match itself and you're earning coins from the trades. Now, once you go back into the menu, you should have even more coins that you can buy even more trades with. And now you're starting to see how this just becomes a snowball effect. Every time that you do this and every match you play, you gradually get more coins, which buy more trades and those trades give you more coins and those coins can be used to buy more trades as you're playing more matches. Taking this approach will put you in a much better position. You'll be able to build a much better team and it'll take half the time. Do this until you reach about 10,000 coins and then use those 10,000 coins to buy your first goal team and then go into your first online matches and division rivals, but carry on doing the same thing. After your division rival match, you get your coins, immediately put those coins into trades rather than into players. The next mistake that I see players making is only doing one thing. This is playing matches. It's crazy to me when I see people say they can't make coins in foot. I ask, what have they been doing? And they reply with, playing matches. Playing matches is the center of foot, but it's not the most rewarding and with the rewards you get, they're based on weekly payouts and there's no guarantee that you're going to get anything good as it's all based on chance. There's so many other ways in which you can make coins. I've already briefly spoken about trading and this is my number one way to make coins. But if trading isn't for you, you still have objectives and SBCs. Objectives are broken down to teams, season progress, objectives, milestones, and foundation. You may not want to complete every single one of these, but there's some very easy challenges for you to go through, and they'll give you extra packs or extra coins. One of the best things that you can go through is squad builder challenges, also known as SBCs. Here is where you'll have different requirements for you to put together different teams, and if that team meets the requirement, you can submit it for extra packs, coins, or even certain players. If you are just looking to make a profit, then I always recommend to go for the advanced SBCs being hybrid nations, hybrid leagues, and the league and nation hybrid. And on a weekly basis, I recommend that you go through the marquee matchups. If you're smart on how you put these teams together, you will always make profit. So they're definitely worth doing. Just don't be dependent on one thing in game for you to make coins. Do a bit of everything because it puts you in a much better position where you're able to have multiple revenue streams. The next mistake that I see new players making is using FIFA points on the store. Now there is an argument to be made that using FIFA points end of is a mistake. But I understand that some of you are in a position and you enjoy doing it. So who am I to tell you not to do things with your money? Feel free to buy into FIFA points if that's something that you want to do. But I do recommend not to buy packs with them from the store, but instead to use those FIFA points into foot draft. You could either play online or single player. It really doesn't matter. The option is entirely up to you. The good thing with foot draft and the reason I recommend it is because it costs 300 FIFA points for you to enter. But even if you go out within the first round, the rewards you're given is equivalent to you having 300 FIFA points and using that on the store. You may get a mix of 7.5k, maybe 5k, maybe even bring down to some of the silver packs but you will be compensated for the 300 FIFA points that you initially put into this game mode. And this is worst case scenario. Best case scenario is that you go on a winning streak. Maybe you're able to win your first game, your second game, your third game. Maybe you go all the way and you win all four games in a row. This is where you've put in 300 FIFA points, but you're able to get something such as a 50k pack right to the end. We are able to get mega packs, rare mega packs, prime gold players packs, player packs. There's so much that you can get if you went all the way to the end. And for the 300 FIFA points that you initially put in, you're now able to get something a lot better. Whereas if you use those 300 FIFA points at the store, you're only going to be getting 300 FIFA points worth of packs. There's nothing that you can do there to get a better pack reward for the money that you're putting in. Of course, this does take a lot longer, but you're going to be getting much better rewards. And if you're not confident in playing online, you can just play single player. The single player doesn't give you as good of packs right at the end, but you're still going to be earning more than if you just use those FIFA points at the store. This also kind of links into the final mistake for this video, and this is players rushing everything. So many new players want to jump into FIFA and have the very best team from day one. Unfortunately, this isn't going to happen. 
And when players are unable to get the best team day one, this is when it leads to them looking to buy FIFA points, looking to open packs, looking to use trading methods and making 100k just like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work this way. Building your ultimate team is a slow process. If you can build a full goal team 100 cam with just a couple hours of playing, then that's good progress. As long as you keep on making progress like this on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, or however many times you play this, then gradually you'll slowly be building towards your overall goal. This could be a certain team that you want to build, or it could be a certain player that you want to buy. I get comments all the time from players who watch one of the trader method videos who try it out for five minutes and immediately come back to the video, go to the comment section and say it doesn't work. Which is weird considering I showed recorded footage of the method and me making a very good amount of coins. What they mean to say is it didn't work in a time limit I wanted. Trader methods can take a lot of time. If you're looking for the very best deals, you need to put time into the game for you to find those deals. You also need to give it time for those deals to then sell on and that is where you're able to make profit. With the trading methods that you see on this channel, they are edited down. There is no point to me showing you a two hour trading session. That two hour trading session is cut down so that it can fit within a 10 minute video and you're able to consume it a lot easier where you know what the trading method is, you understand why it works and you need to know what players to go out and look for but you won't be able to do that exact same method within 10 minutes and have the exact same results. Now, this is just an example with trading because this is what I know, but rushing also goes across every other gameplay feature. You don't want to rush through different SBCs. Take your time, see what you have within your club because you can make it a lot cheaper. You don't want to be rushing gameplay when playing either single player or online. This year, the gameplay is a lot slower. It rewards you for taking that extra pass, whether it be in defense, midfield, or in attack. I've realized that it works a lot better if you don't rush your gameplay and instead look for that extra pass for you to make an easier shot on target for you to get an easier goal. This could be an extra pass just to get closer to the net or an extra pass for it to be an open net. This is the gameplay that is rewarding this year. And it's also the same and kind of links back to some of the mistakes that we've talked about in this video. Not to rush straight into ultimate team and use your starter team to play online. When there's a much better way in which you can do this through squad battles or gradually building up not rushing into buying the players for your team but instead looking for trades and eventually building up those coins to then go and build your ultimate team not rushing into this game is a key component in every aspect of ultimate team so by not rushing you should be able to make better choices when going into gameplay and you should be able to make a lot more coins overall. Anyway guys, these are the five mistakes that I've seen players making already to begin their ultimate team. And by knowing these mistakes and avoiding them, you should be able to hit this ground running. Start your ultimate team, start earning coins and gradually build to your team. The team that's gonna take you all the way through division rivals, all the way through the champions players and all the way through the weekend league. If you do have any questions about anything then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to see you